What's going on my friends, DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today we are at the Kalamazoo Country Club to celebrate with Natalie and Nathan. Uh, flip the camera on here, I'll show you my setup real quick. Um, not a whole lot has changed, but something has changed in this venue. So we were here back in, I believe it was July, and they got new floors, check it out. So here's the setup, we've still gotta put the Astera tubes up, but we've got the monogram on there, Natalie and Nathan, it's a video monogram. There it goes. And these are the new floors. So there used to be a dance floor out here, and the rest was carpet. So they changed that up. Looks a lot cleaner. So, Astera tubes. Here's the case for my J8s. You guys aren't using a flight case and you have a trailer. So nice. And then here's the setup. Nothing too crazy. So, one thing that I did want to bring up though is how I do my music planning. So, uh, everyone does it a little bit different. I use Vibo. So Vibo is awesome. If you're not using Vibo, you definitely should give it a shot. Uh, hit up Michael at Vibo and uh, he can give you a tour of the app and how it works and all that type of stuff. So I have six DJs and it's super easy to manage a multi-app using Vibo because we can just print everything and it's ready to go. So I can go, I'll do another Vibo video. I've got a couple that I've done, but definitely check those out. A few minutes later. All right guys, we are officially completely set up. So let me uh, turn this camera around and I'll show you exactly what we're working with today. So we're running six of the Asteras. We got two back here on tripods. So we got one here and there's one over there. Then we've got one on speaker mount, one on one of its own little tripods. That. And then over here, this is my new camera. So if you can see that, it's a Canon R6. If it'll focus, which it won't. There we go. It's a Canon R6. So I'm going to try and get a good shot of my intros today because that's something that I think is super important is having documentation or video footage of your intros to show to couples or that couples can see so that they know what you sound like on a microphone. Um, music's important, but being well spoken on the mic is also super important. Talking to this camera all the time is super helpful for making me better on the mic as well. So here's what we're working with back here, Rain 12s. And then I mentioned earlier a little bit about Vibo but this is the Vibo sheet. So when you print this out, it's gonna give you all the information. So if they fill out it out, fill it out completely, you're gonna have all these times, songs, all that good stuff, names of the wedding party, all the information that you could possibly need is gonna be in this form. So you don't have to type out something like this. I type out this because it's more of like a cliff note version, but I could totally run an event off just the Vibo paperwork if I wanted to. All right guys, we've got just a few minutes here before cocktail hour starts. So ceremony was off site today. So they're finishing up a ceremony. The next ceremony is at 4.30. So we should be starting to see some guests here in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, and then dinner is at six and get the show on the road after that. So uh, I'll try to get, the, get on the camera and give you guys updates as much as possible, but that's sometimes challenging. I've got the GoPro tonight and I've got my new camera and this camera. So we should have no problem capturing plenty of footage for you guys and hopefully it's a good party they've requested a lot of EDM so I'm hoping that it's a good party um, they like to dance they like dance music so we should be uh, should be in good shape there all right let's go Clap to the beat. It's my honor to introduce our newlyweds tonight. Make some noise, get real loud for the brand new Natalie and Nathan Cook! Come on. Come on, it's all about somebody. 
well. Let's recap that gig, guys. That was a fun one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was definitely a good time. Definitely got to play a lot of EDM. There was some annoying drunk people, which, you know, that happens almost all of them. But overall, I would give that gig a nine out of 10. Um, photographer was awesome, 50 points at 50PTS is his Instagram. The kid is super talented. I think he's only like 24 or 25, but phenomenal photographer. Um, he was super cool to work with. Uh, Matthew B. Douglas was the videographer. Also super, super cool guy. Um, I was looking at his Instagram, they do some pretty good work, him and his wife. So lots of cool vendors to work with. Um, overall, the only issues I had were, well for one, the bride. The bride kind of told a little bit of a fib. So the bride says, <clears throat> comes up to me, I'm supposed to be done at 11. I'm playing the last song, it's Sweet Caroline. Uh, Sweet Caroline's playing, the bride comes up to me, she goes, hey, um, can you play for another half hour? And I said, well, the venue said I had to be done at 11. And she goes, well, I talked to them and they said you could play till 11.30. And should have known better than to take the bride's word for it. <laughs> Excuse me. Should have known better than to take the bride's word for it. But I did, I keep playing. Like five minutes after 11, the uh, venue manager comes up. She goes, hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be done at 11. And I was like, oh, well, the bride came up to me and said that you told her I could play till 11.30. And she goes, no, I definitely didn't say that. So we kind of looked at each other and she said, oh, well, play till 11.30. So play till 11.30. Uh, anyway, uh, should definitely verify that with the venue manager. So that was a bad move on my part. Uh, I'm at the country club just a couple times a year, though, so... Um, you know, they were cool with it. <clears throat> and I'm packed up super, out of there super quick. I was out of there in like 20 minutes because all I had was the booth and the Asteras and speakers and that was it. So super easy tear down, super easy setup. Um, new camera that I'm filming with, this one right here. This is the Canon R6, phenomenal camera. Uh, those video clips that you can see I'm using it. Uh, it was super dark in there and it picked up great. Um, audio quality is great. You can tell the, the um, the GoPro clips, the audio is just horrible. And that's what that, I have the, the media mod for the GoPro, but I actually, so I ended up taking it off actually because it was overheating the GoPro. It was making the GoPro overheat. So it only run for like 20 minutes and it just shuts down. So I gotta figure out something to do there. Uh, but the audio quality on the regular GoPro is just, just shitty. I forgot that I didn't have the media mod on it. But the media mod, it does sound a little bit better. But anyway guys, uh, overall solid gig. Hope you liked it. Um, I did end up, I don't have any footage of it, but I asked the photographer um, when he got, got in there, I was like, hey man, uh, could you edit a couple pictures real quick and I'll throw them on the booth. So I did that. So we took four of the shots that he'd taken earlier from just after the ceremony, threw those on the front of the booth. He put them in black and white, so it looked super sharp. So I had those flowing, everybody's pointing at it. Oh, that's so cool. So lots of compliments on the booth. Uh, I got lots of compliments on the DJing. I had at least three or four people come up and say that they've never heard a wedding DJ play the way that I was playing. So they had a lot of fun, it was a good gig. But uh, this is the last wedding I have until the 22nd of February, it's a Tuesday, so first ever Tuesday wedding. Um, <clears throat> should be a good time. Uh, it's a, a photographer, so um, looking for, looking forward to working for another vendor, or another, yeah, another vendor. Uh, should be pretty cool. I'm not sure who's gonna shoot her wedding, but we'll find out. Uh, Tuesday wedding, so I do have about a month before the next gig log, and after that I don't have another gig log until May, or maybe April. I got a couple in April, but we're gonna have about a month off. So I'll be hitting you guys with some other content. Um, I got some things in the works. I got a few review videos I need to do on some equipment and things like that. So different content coming after this gig log. As always, guys, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Please click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'll catch up to you in the next one. Peace.